Hello and welcome to Negative Feedback. First of all, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you're in need of a website, a domain or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. So today, we are outside the print space, which is this building that I'm sitting in front of. And we're going to be taking a look at the exhibition that we currently are holding. So uh, why don't you come inside and have a look? So when you come into the exhibition, uh, you are greeted by a lot of photos. I think there's 170, uh, but 25 of them are mounted onto foam board, which kind of makes them stand out from the wall. Uh, and they're all bigger, and then they're collaged around with these smaller prints. Uh, just because there's so many photos, I think it would take way too long in a video to go through every single one. So for now, we're going to go through the mounted ones, and then some of my favorites. So, exhibit A, I guess this is. This one is by Chiara Contrina. I just think this is an amazing photo. It's not something you see every day. And um, it just has a really timeless classic look. Um, it's really nice and cool. Um, up now, we have a photo by Tom Westbury, who is someone that I really like. Tom is someone actually who I found when I was looking to buy MME A7, like three years ago. Um, and he was like the most consistent poster on the Mimi 7 Flickr group. <laughs> so it's quite cool to have some of his photos in there. I've always really liked them. Um, I think the way he scans his film is lovely. Then we have this big boy by John Stanley Austin, uh, which is of Canberra Sands. Uh, it's just great. I mean, I've been there a few times and it's never looked anything like that. Just really cool. Uh, then we have one by big Timmy P, Tim Powman. Uh, from his series Well Up, uh, which is about a privatised estate in Australia. And I just think it's just so bizarre. I mean, maybe that's normal in Australia, but to me it's definitely not. And then I think this is probably one of the, the standout things of the whole show. Uh, it's a, an octatic, I guess you'd call it, from Oliver Took. Basically, he spent three years in Syria photographing the crisis. And uh, this is a short excerpt of the work that he shot out there and it's really quite amazing. Um, it's great to be able to show it here. Next up, we have three uh, relatively big boys from Kean. Uh, Kean Obersmith, who was on the cover of issue three. And yeah, they're just amazing. Um, it's great to see them this big and put them on show. I really love the series. And then we move over to this black and white one by a guy called Lee Stitt, uh, which I don't know what it is about it. I just Something is lovely about it. Um, really, really powerful flash. Uh, it's from a series called Grey Matter. We then have another Tim Palman. Um, this is from his newer series called Victory. And yeah, it's just lovely. Um, nice photo. It's about Australian rules football. And then we have another Australian called Lawrence Watts. And I just think this is great. Um, I'm sure it's coincidence that it's just so good. Then the Australian theme keeps going with another Tim. Um, this is from his other series called Flying East. Um, this is shot in large format in a motel that he was staying in while shooting the rest of the work. And um, there's just something really timeless about it. Um, I love the motion blur on the screen as well. It's just really cool. Then we have A Landscape by Harry Lawler. <laughs> Landscapes aren't something that I'm normally really interested by, but something about this one just really held my attention. I think it's the really slight motion blur. It's not enough to give it that kind of glassy sea look. Um, but I think also paired with the really weird tones, um, it's just really moody and dramatic. And I like it. I don't know why, but I do. And then we move over to the other side, uh, where there is only one mounted. Uh, which is the big old big boy from myself. Um, this is from a series I'm currently shooting on 8x10 film. And yeah, I don't really want to speak about it yet. It's nearly done. It's cool. This is a running track uh, in my hometown. And um, I like it. It means a lot to me. So this final wall uh, has four mounted prints from the same series, which is called Warehouse City by Liam Stock. It's about uh, Manchester and how the city is evolving. Um, I just think they're lovely. Uh, and that's all the mounted prints. Uh, that's all of them. I guess now let's go on to my favorite. And then 
the uh, three chosen winners from Parallax Photographic Coots selection, who are very kindly giving away three vouchers to the three favourite photos. So let's go through that. My favourite print in the whole thing. Uh, doesn't win anything. I mean, I just gratification that <laughs> you're my favourite um, goes to Chris Kozlowski. I don't know, um, this is about uh, gun culture in Switzerland and I just think it's an amazing still life of the target that they used to practice. Um, I just love it. <laughs> it's just a really nice photo. Speaking of Chris Kozlowski, he is also the winner of the first gift card from Parallax. Uh, so let's go and see the other photo, which is the one that won that. Ta-da! Uh, this is from the same series. This one's actually by him as well, I believe. Um, yeah, that's what they liked. That's the first winner. And the next winner is Tony Caraga for this lovely photo of the, the fisherman at sea. For his series, I think it's called Train Ya. Uh, it's got one of those funny squiggles over the end, so I think that's the way you say it. Uh, and it explores uh, the lives of fishermen in Armenia. And it's a lovely series. There's some more photos from it in the exhibition. Uh, yeah, this is number two. And the final winner is this one of the tennis court by Samuel Dumont Levesque. Uh, couldn't find out anything more about Samuel online, so uh, hopefully he does exist. <laughs> um, yeah, those are the three winners of the gift cards from Parallax. Uh, I'm sure we'll be in contact via email about how that works. Yeah, cool. So that is this video. Uh, I hope it was enjoyable. If you'd like to come and see the exhibition, good news, because it was meant to be over by now. But it's been extended to the 26th of September. So come on down to the Prince Space and see it. And yeah, cool. So finally, I'd like to thank Squarespace again for sponsoring this video. If you're in need of a website, domain or online store, definitely check out Squarespace. It's a really easy place to build your own custom website. It looks really nice and professional. Uh, anyone can do it, it's really easy, and the results are great. And you can get 10% off using the code negative feedback. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you hopefully next week with another video. Dong dong!